In our previous video, when an error took place, let's say an error scenario took place and one of the required fields was empty, we threw an exception with the custom exception message. But throwing exception is not the best way to go about it. It's up to you how you organize your exceptions in your application. You can create a custom exception for each of the scenarios. Like for example, uh, you can create a missing required field exception or you can create uh, one more exception, record already exists exception. I usually create an exception for each service class. For example, here we are working with the user details and if user related error scenario take place, I uh, throw a user service exception. My service class is called a user service. So I'm throwing a user service exception. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your custom uh, user service exception. So I'm going to create a class that will go into app WS exceptions. And the name of this class will be user service exception and I'll click finish to create it. Here we go. So because this is an exception that we are creating, I will make it extend runtime exception like this and I will quickly create a constructor for it. Okay. And we have a notice here. Let's add the generated serial version ID. Okay. And delete this comment. Okay, so we have the user service exception and we can now use it instead of that general exception that we used in user controller. So I'll switch to user controller and instead of throwing exception, I will throw new user service exception and I will uh, import user service exception like this. Now I can run my application again. And in terms of the output, I don't expect anything um, much changed. The structure of the error message and the message description should all uh, be the same. So my app is up and running. I will go back to Postman and we'll send this HTTP POST request to create a new user one more time. And again, I just, I got back exactly the same uh, JSON exactly same error message description. But the advantage of this is that now when I'm going to handle specific exceptions, I can handle a user service exception, for example, and then provide a custom JSON representation of that exception if I need to. Or I can handle this custom user service exception and do something about it. It's no longer a general exception message. It is now a specific user exception, which we can handle uh, differently. And we can even return a different JSON representation of this error scenario if we need to. Okay, so let's continue. 